and we're back for another exciting update uh this is on final cut pro 10 uh 10.0.3 uh new update come out on i believe it was wednesday or maybe it was tuesday i can't remember um and i'm gonna go over some of the features it's funny because i i uh a day prior i did a multicam video editing video but it was how to do it manually so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through the, the new features. Uh, Multicam editing has finally been, feature has been uh, put in there. Advanced chroma key. Uh, broadcast monitoring. Okay, it's in beta, uh, which includes Thunderbolt uh, devices and PCIe cards. Uh, enhanced XML for better integration with third-party plugins and applications. And we're going to talk a little bit uh, in depth about multicam. And uh, let me go over those features uh, in, in particular. Uh, sync up to 64 videos at one time. Uh, sync videos using audio waveforms, time and date, or time code. And you can also use uh, mixed formats, uh, frame sizes, perhaps I think resolutions, and frame rates. Now, and, you know, I kind of find this funny because uh, when Final Cut Pro 10 finally came out last year, a lot of the pro editors were like going crazy because it didn't have multicam editing. And I think the reason why it took so long, actually it took seven months, I think, to finally add it in, was because it's really so, comp uh, it's so advanced compared to, from what I understand from reading, to other editors. Uh, you know, like Premiere Pro and, you know, Variety of even uh, Final Cut Pro 7 doesn't do this. Some of it. Now I'm not. I don't claim to be a, a pro video editor, and I only use Final Cut Pro 10 for my own shows and broadcasts. Um, but you know it's so comprehensive that you know it, to me it was uh, worth the wait. Uh, especially mixed formats, frame sizes, and, and frame rates. You can mix them and match them because. You might be on some kind of video shoot using, you know, anywhere from a pro uh, camcorder, a DSLR, um, iPhone, you know, and you can just put it in there, mix it up. You don't have to worry about, you know, making sure they're exactly the same type of file. And I noticed that as well when I did the manual multicam editing. I had two different video sources. Uh, one was at 60 frames per second, the other in 25, so I had to lower down the 60 frames per second to 25 seconds before I could get it to work correctly. So you don't have to worry about that. It just all works. And so uh, that's great. Now I also uh, supposedly with Final Cut Pro 10, even before the up multicam update, audio syncing uh, from what I understand was uh, is exclusive to Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, now when I used it, it was a bit unstable. Uh, some issues disappearing a couple of times, but it auto saves uh, anyway. So hopefully future updates will fix that. And as an added bonus, uh, you can get a ten dollar uh, add-on software. Well, Apple doesn't produce this; it's another manufacturer in the App Store. It's called Seven to, I guess ten or X. It says Seven to X, but I guess it's Seven to Ten. But it allows you to take. Um, uh, Final Cut Pro 7, finally, um, you can import projects into Final Cut Pro 10 now. And uh, from what I didn't read a lot much into it, but um, supposedly it's supposed to be pretty good at converting because there's so many new features for Final, Final Cut Pro 10 that, you know, I think that's why it was preventing uh, importing older versions. So yeah, uh, it looks like to be a great update. Uh, can't wait till the see what the future revisions look like.